could one Imperial Star Destroyer take down the US military? Easily. This ship is ridiculous, capable of rendering planets uninhabitable. Singular Imperial Star Destroyers were often seen subjugating entire planets with their overwhelming military might. Those are However, scary. would the same fate befall Earth's most powerful military force? Forget the US, United Earth could not stop this thing. If the Imperial Star Destroyer foolishly decided to enter Earth's atmosphere, not sure why the US military that. would likely make quick work of this invader. No. So all the world's nuclear weapons combined, we're talking 7,000 megatons of firepower, and that's being generous. This thing right here, in order to render a planet uninhabitable using a base delta zero, we're talking over a million megatons per turbo laser volley. That's ridiculous. Nuclear missiles are powerful enough to quickly take down a Star Destroyer's shields. And no, that's not. This thing's just as powerful on the defense, considering it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with other Star Destroyers that have equal firepower. Nuclear weapons are going to be about as effective as water balloons. And in order to do this, its reactor output is ridiculous over 10 to the 20th power watts to run its turbo lasers, its shields, and life support for 37,000 people. In the lore, they use something called a hypermatter reactor, which is some beyond antimatter, E somehow greater than MC squared science fiction thing. Eater, our experimental nuclear fusion reactor, is nothing compared to that. You're essentially comparing a broken microwave to the sun in terms of uh, power blow it into oblivion. No. However, it is more likely that the Empire would opt for an attack known as Base Delta Zero. This By the way, these are uh, Victory Star Destroyers he's showing here, which are way less powerful. ...was essentially an orbital bombardment, as the US likely does not have nuclear missiles that can reach that far into space. That's true, and even if they were somehow powerful via magic, the Star Destroyer could just shoot them down with its turbo lasers. Or it can escape. It's capable of 3000 G sublight acceleration, or it can use its hyperdrive and then just come back from another pass to destroy us all. The Imperial Star Destroyer would soon annihilate Earth's defenses. It would. It's a horrifically unfair fight.